Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I got a review of that Fuku 3 coming. I wore that most of the week. Uh, but that's not what I'm going to talk about this one. I had a bit of a surprise. This is a bit of a forgotten gem or underrated as far as I'm concerned. Nobody seems to talk about it. It's a really good scent. But anyway, this is how it happened. I bought a new shelf the other day. Just a little corner shelf. I'll show it in the video at some point in time. And uh, because I've got clones and like totes and stuff too that slowly building up the shelves and get everything out. And I just can't fit everything. <laughs> so I uh, just think I stop buying say that and I'm going out today to look for more <laughs> but uh, yeah anyway I, I <coughs> put up the new shelf and well, uh, go grab one of my totes and see what are in them what I want to put out and I'm getting to the point now with the stuff in the totes is stuff that I don't wear a whole lot anymore or haven't worn in a while and and some of them are nice and this was what, what happened was is I grabbed a tote and they're only some like big totes they're only small totes with a couple dozen colognes in the meat and um I opened it up and I was immediately smacked in the face with this uh synthetic sweet fruity pineapple and I was like what the fuck is that I liked it like like I, I say it's synthetic like, but it's just synthetic that's all it's just it's to smell natural but geez it was fruity and sweet and loud and I'm like geez what is that At first I thought you know something broke I was like fuck because some of these clones you just and this is one of them that's been discontinued for a while and you know, I never did any research, but I imagine where it's discontinued, it's probably hard to get and may not be expensive, but probably starting to creep up there. Um, and I could be completely wrong. It could be cheap as balls. I didn't bother looking. Don't care. <laughs> so I, uh, well, I'm trying to figure out what it was and going through and you've got fucking this and that and that and this and finally I figured out what it was and it was, uh, this one kind of jingles um Paco Rabanne, black excess now i've heard it pronounced black excess lexess black excess la excess black excess lexis i mean whatever however you pronounce it i call it lexess uh i remember buying this one a while ago and bought it a couple times and fruity, pineapple watery. Oh, it's nice. It's ridiculously nice for what it is. Um, anyway, yeah, I was like, wow, that's fucking a lot nicer than I thought. I don't have the box anymore. I threw it out. Or maybe I didn't get it. I can't remember. But it's a little jingly thing, little rose and skull, which is funny because it has no rose or bow notes. <laughs> it does smell like rose and cannibals. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's kind of cheesy. Um, normally, I take stuff like that off. I didn't know why I didn't on this one, but I don't like it. Um, the other thing I'm not a super fan of is this here. Not that I don't mind. Like on certain colognes, it makes sense. I wish this was just a pop off because sometimes it can be hard to go to spray and see. And but uh. Nice scent. Uh, we'll get into it. I only wore it for a day, but I really wanted to talk about it because it doesn't seem like uh, one a lot of people talk about. So, sorry, I didn't have a cough there. Um, so this ain't gonna be a full-on week review like I've been doing for the last six months, seven months. 
I'm going to be more typical like my old reviews where I'd wear something for a day or two and I, I, I just, I had to talk about it because nobody seems to be talking about it. Maybe they are and I'm just behind the eight ball on that one or not behind the eight ball I guess. But uh, I didn't really see anybody talking about it which is a sin because it's a fucking nice scent and performs like a mother. Holy jeez, zip perform. Um, again, I, I can't remember where I got it. I didn't bother looking up how much it was. I said, you can do all that yourselves. Um, I probably, I think I got this one in a, like a Kijiji kind of trade pickup type thing. Could be wrong, but that's what's coming to my mind. Um, anyway, let's get into it. It's a, uh, 2012 Woody Aromatic, um, top note, these are listed notes, definitely more in it than just this though, uh, top notes are lavender and lemon, uh, mid is, uh, cypre oil and C notes, and that's cypre oil stuff, I had to look it up because I'd never heard of it before, um, it's a, it's a, it's like a plant, I guess it's a relative to the papyrus, Kind of get a woody, earthy, sweet, spicy type vibe to it. Uh, also called Nagar Motha. Haven't heard of that either. So, a bit of a unique. Kind of not that this is overly unique, but a bit. Um, and then the base is patchouli and amber. Very sweet amber. Very, very earthy, sweet patchouli. Um, yeah, I mean, this was just... You get that initial blast... And man, you are hit with a fruity, somewhat citrusy, but not a lot more fruity. Like I pick up strawberry and like I said, a little bit of the citrus, the lemon. Uh, definitely, definitely, they're not listed here, but it is a fucking pineapple bomb. Uh, and I know people say pineapple. Aventus, Aventus. It smells like Aventus. No, no. Uh, I don't find Aventus super heavy on the pineapple. Uh, maybe some of the newer batches. I haven't bought a thing of Aventus in a couple of years now. <laughs> Mainly because I have a couple of the older batches. And I don't need to. <laughs> but I heard they're pretty fruity. So maybe it smells more like that. Uh, I don't know. But it doesn't smell like Aventus. Um... You know, it's not a substitute or or anything like that. It, it just it's just a fucking huge hit of this synthetic sweet, uh, fruity pineapple. Almost uh, overbearing for the first half hour or so. You give some people a headache. Very loud for the first half hour or so. Forty minutes. I mean, fucking loud. Like, one spray fills up a room. No joke. Um, then it dials back a bit, but it's still pretty loud. <laughs> and it keeps that fruity pineapple kind of vibe for a good couple hours, man. It is, you know, just a nice, uh, somewhat aquatic, too, with the sea notes. It's like a watery comes off first just a big blast of synthetic fruity pineapple bang in your face sweet as old fuck like i said half hour 40 minutes that's pretty much it uh, i would recommend spraying this one relatively lightly and a good 20 minutes to a half hour before you go anywhere because you're gonna choke motherfuckers out ufc style wwe <laughs> you're gonna choke some guys out man it was potent. Uh, surprised me how strong it was. I forgot all about it. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it's the first half hour, we'll say. Then it kind of draws back a bit. And some, like I said, some of that watery comes kind of a watery, fruity pineapple vibe with a little bit of kind of. 
earthy, papery. I know it sounds funny, and it's not. I can't really explain it other than that. It's kind of a like if you have a piece of paper and gets wet and it sits for a few minutes, you kind of get that little bit of a, a paper vibe. You know what I mean? Just kind of got that to it. That, um, I'm assuming that would be the the cypre oil or whatever the fuck it is, and giving it that papery, earthy, woody type vibe. And maybe a bit of the patchouli. Um, pretty linear though, I will say that, because it kind of keeps that pineapple vibe. It's kind of through the whole length of the scent for a good eight hours. I know, trust me. A good eight hours, you're getting that pineapple vibe. A sweet, watery, fruity pineapple vibe. Seven or eight hours. And just it's got undertones of... Like I said, that light, earthy, papery, patchouli kind of smell to it at the base. Uh, and the amber comes into amber. It's very sweet amber because it hits the base. It almost sweetens up again about eight hours into it. It's long scent, man. Kind of the sweetness kind of jumps up for another. 20 minutes, half hour, a little, a little more intense, and I'm assuming that's the sweet amber. But it never really changes from a, a sweet, fruity pineapple scent with a little bit of earthiness, I guess is the best way to describe it. It's, it's a nice scent. Um, I wouldn't... I'd, Go easy on it though. It is fucking like I said. Projection is about three, three and a half solid hours, and I mean it projects for the first couple. Like uh, I mean the first half hour is too much. It's whoa, it's just it. I mean it makes it's on par with one million, if not a little, little stronger in its projection for the first half hour. It's way out there uh, and very abrasive very aggressive for that first half hour not very good for casual settings or office settings or anything like that this is definitely it's more casual but it's definitely not for enclosed area <laughs> casual you know what i mean uh, if you're going to wear it it's definitely good for a club um definitely all seasons believe it or not i know it's because it's heavy you think no because it's, it's it's not heavy it's just loud um could be worn in spring summer winter fall i'd say it totes a little more towards the fall and the spring um summer might be a little much just basically maybe even half a spray in the summer it's all you're gonna need trust me and uh the winter it, <laughs> although it's loud it's not heavy <clears throat> It's more loud in the, the sweet way, not the spicy way that really works with winter scents. But, I mean, it, it'll still cut through the cold. It's just got that uh, feel to it that it's better in the fall and spring to my nose. But I wear what I want when I want, and so should you. Um, just learn to control the sprays. Yeah, so I guess it's a full-on review I'm giving you, but it's not a week's review. Um, I did get a compliment wearing it, two compliments wearing it. Yesterday, uh, I went to uh, two girls at work. They love it. Uh, younger ladies, early 20s. Jeez, uh, those girls tend to love pineapple. Though. Fruity pineapple. They just, young girls seem to love it. Like girls in general. And I know I'm, I'm not stereotyping or toxic masculinity. It, just a generalization from my years of wearing perfumes girls really seem to like uh, pineapple it's not a bad scent I don't know that pineapple's nice but women just seem to love it pineapple and vanilla Ooh, they love it don't always come over with a pineapple vanilla scent yet or maybe they have and I don't know about it guess maybe the new batches of Ventus are kind of like that from what I hear kind of fruity and vanilla -y. I don't know anyway I should get a new batch of Aventus, just to try it. I mean, just get a tester, though. Um, 
Yeah, so they just wanted to give you a heads up on this one, guys, if you can find it. Again, I don't know if it's expensive now. I know it's discontinued. That much research I did do. See, I can do research. <laughs> I know it's discontinued. Uh, so it might be a little hard to find and maybe a little pricey. Um, but if you're looking for a new... Especially if you're a young man and you're looking for a new club scent... That's not going to smell like Eros or One Million or, or even La Mall. I guess wouldn't be much of a young man scent anymore, but I love them all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you're looking for that new club scent, this could be... Not a lot of people are going to smell like this. And this is It's not, like I said, it's not unique in what it is, but it is kind of unique in what it smells like if that makes sense it's it's your typical sweet loud sweet scent but there's no vanilla there's no cinnamon there's no you know it's it's mostly just this loud sweet fruit pineapple and amber boom in your face too um longevity i, just, I already gave you projection but longevity through the fucking roof all day and i'm talking an all day i uh i put on three sprays at about, uh, well, I work night, so I put on three sprays before I went to work. About 10 o'clock at night, I got home at 6 in the morning, 6.30 in the morning, and it was still on me. The one on my shirt, one here and one here. Uh, the one on my shirt, it wasn't this shirt, it was a work shirt, obviously. Uh, I just put in the hamper, and you can still smell it, and it's going on 8.30 now, so... <laughs> She's loud and proud, boys. Loud and proud. And the ladies like it. So, yeah, guys, just a quick little one. Give yourself a... See if you can find it. Not a bad scent. I'll be back with my review of... Uh, Fuck you to the third power. That's what I wore this week. Another one that has a bit of a pineapple vibe. But, again, not a Ventus. But, anyway, I'll get into that when I do the review. Peace, love, be good to each other, guys.